Hi there. I have today with me a new Wetterlings axe. Genuine hickory handle. It's relatively new to the market. I think it came out in 2012. And this gentleman here, uh, his name is Survivor Man Les Stroud. And I'm not embarrassed to say this. I've never heard of him. I don't watch TV and I have no use for it. But this guy here uh, is renowned for being some sort of a survivor type guy. And Wetterlings partnered up with him and designed an axe. I went for this axe for some of the attributes that are on it. And I think it's probably why it was designed that way. Let's get at it. First of all, I left this on here for the review. I'm going to cut it off right now. I don't like the feel of it with those tags on here. We have a picture of this very manly looking guy and his new axe and some sort of a hemp string. And we have Vetterlings. And we have some pictures of the people that at the work at the forge, how to use it, um, some marketing, some cool pictures, how to sharpen it. All in all, a very nice little brochure. Okay. Let's get over to the axe. This sheath is very nice. I like it a lot. It's vegetable tan. It's got a nice little snap on here. How long it'll live, I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Pull it off here. No oxidization in here. It's been put together quite nicely. It feels a lot better than the Hultiforce uh, classic one, uh, the, their sheath. It's nice. You could probably even strop with this if you had to. Haven't seen that in any videos, but you probably could take a burr off in an emergency situation with this. All right, enough of this. Let's get into this. Some of the attributes that I really liked about this, I had no idea that it was uh, you know, designed by this fancy outdoors guy who's been followed around by cameras. Um, I like a couple of things on here that just stood out to me. Right away was the pull. You're not supposed to use an ax for hammering. I know that we can use it, a lot of people use them, but what it does is it causes it to flare out in here and go from here to this and then the handle gets loose. Um, it looks to me like Les has beefed this one up a bit in here and put a little bit of a pull in here. The reason I think it's pulled back here is so you can choke up. Look at this. I can really fit my finger in here. I can get in here and I usually catch the web of my hand on these sharp corners. Well, guess what? Someone's taken this off. It's not sharp. It's been rounded. So you can choke up on this axe and really get in there. Look at that. I'm cutting this cutting board up. It is sharp. Very sharp. I'll do my test here. Check out the thumbnail rolls up the thumbnail quite well. It's a sharp ax. I can get it sharper, but you know what? It's nice that they put the effort in there because sometimes you want to take it out of the box and use it for its intended purpose right now without having to sharpen it. So choking it up is great. Also, if you look at the geometry of this handle, it's straight. A lot of them will have a little bit of a, a French curve in here and come up or vice versa, just to make it a little bit easier for some people when they're, you know, orientating it to the top of a block of wood. But when you look at this, and you basically put the front on this cutting board, it sits quite, quite like this edge is rounded a bit, but it's fairly parallel. It's not really arcing too much. Now, given that, another thing that I really like about this ax head is that it's quite wide here. And I'll show you. Look at that. It's pretty much a credit card's width wide. How much is that? Let's take a look. Eh, three and three eighths. What's it here? Eh, six, six inches here, but one and three quarters. Um, I really like the wood. I don't get too hung up on the wood. It's heartwood. I asked that it be dark. I just don't want some sap wood that's like shining white. Um, let's take a, the end, take a look at the end grain. This is probably the most undesirable end grain you could ever ask for in an axe. It's not 
up and down and in line with this edge. It's on edge and you can see here with the, uh, the grain and the wood you've got run out. So like it's not very strong here. Um, you know what? I've heard conflicting things about here about the grain and this and that but you look here it's quite straight through here. So it's quite strong I think through here as far as you know judging this by convention it looks quite strong and over here not so strong. You know what I think it's probably going to be an excellent handle and a close friend of mine says you can't argue with results. You know being an armchair expert and sitting around talking about the grain on your handle get out there and use the frickin thing and see what happens okay I don't know if this is gonna break or not but I'm telling you one thing I'm gonna find out. So a uh, couple of neat things that went Wetterlings has here it usually they'll have the blacksmiths or the person running the forge their initials here I don't see that or is that the Grand Force Brooks maybe that's a different Swedish axe um, it's been polished out here. You can see the geometry of the blade is, I would say, medium. It's not too stout, but it's not too thin here. This is a very nice hunting axe, I think. Um, like I said, it was designed for a guy named Les. Overall, it's 22 inches long. Okay, so those of you that are fitting it into different compartments and boxes, it's 22 inches long. Cutting face is three and a quarter. I said three and three eighths. It's quite ample. It's Swedish high carbon steel. It's hand picked heartwood hickory, and I think it's going to be a nice handle. Uh, I hope it's strong. And I really like the large cutting surface of this axe. I like how I can choke it up and really cut with it. My my finger just goes right up into this little crotch that's built in. Um, less, I think designed it so that you could get your hand in here. Okay, other axes have you out here. Sometimes you want to get in here so that if you look at this, it's over the, the, the center of this blade so I can really control it and do some finer work here in an emergency situation where maybe I only have my axe. I'll leave it at that. This will be featured in more videos. I'm going to be doing some cutting with it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.